morning, class. How are you today? That's good to hear. Before we start our activities, let us all stand up and let us pray. Jessica, can you please lead the prayer? Father God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our classroom with peace. Fill our lessons with fun. And fill our friendship with kindness. And fill our school with love. Amen. But before we proceed to our main discussion, let us have first a review about what we have tackled yesterday. So yesterday, we discussed about what? Anyone from the class? Yes, Naro. Yes, it's about single round robin. So let's have a recap by using the activity. This activity called is Stop and get it so I have here one folder inside the folder there are questions about what we have tackled yesterday so are you guys familiar to the song of five little ducks so when you hear the music you can also sing while you are passing the folder to your seatmates and if the music stops whoever got the folder will get the question inside and answer it are we clear Let's start! Five little ducks went out one day Over the hill and far away Mother duck said Shakira, what is that question? Define what is round and robin. And your answer round is? Round robin is a contrast in which participants are eliminated after a certain number of losses. Yes, correct. Thank you, Shakira. Next. Mother duck said quack quack Jeffrey, can you please read the question and answer it? What is round robin used for? Round robin scheduling is simple, it's easy to implement disturbation pre. Yes, good job. Thank you, Jeffrey. Now I know that you learned a lot from yesterday's lesson. So I think let's move on to our next activity. So I prepared three boxes here. Inside of each box, we'll have a, a square cutouts about examples of sports. So I will be giving this by group. So this is for group one, for group two, and for group three. And then you will be put here the fixtures or the fossil that you can complete and whoever um, group to assemble first will win the game so I think everyone is ready so let's start nice one group 2 was the first to complete the puzzle congratulations Group 2, you may now post your puzzle to the board. And Group 2 created puzzle about combat sport, which is boxing. So if you can see, this sport is usually wearing protective gloves and other protective equipments. And that is boxing. Okay, well done. For the other groups who didn't finish, it's okay. You did a great job too. But before we proceed to our um, short video presentation, may I see the work of group number one and group number three. For group number one, we have the... Group one, we have the tennis. So tennis is a racket sport that can be played individually against by single opponent. And while for the group number three, we have the... The soccer, or usually called um, association football. Okay, now we proceed to our short video presentation. In a single elimination tournament, players compete in a series of matches. 
The winner of each match progresses to the next round while the loser is eliminated. This continues until all but one player has been eliminated and this player is crowned the tournament champion. The format is named after the fact that players are eliminated after a single defeat. The diagram which represents the series of games is called a bracket and is often displayed with the bottom half of matches on the right. This has no effect on gameplay, but can make the bracket easier to read, especially with a large number of players. Each match may be a single contest or a series in which the winner is the player who wins the most individual matches. Alternatively, the winner could be the player who achieves the highest aggregate score when the scores from all matches are added together. A single elimination tournament works best when the number of players is an exponent of two, such as 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and so on. But the format can be used with any number of players. In these cases, some players will receive a bye in the first round. This is where that player progresses without playing. This is the same as if their opponent did not show up for their match. A tournament with 10 entrants is the same as one with 16, where six players didn't show up. Single elimination tournaments are often seeded. This means that players are ranked before the tournament based on their ability. In the first round, the best player will face the worst player. The second best will go against the second worst, and so on. Seeding maximizes the chance of the strongest players reaching the later rounds as they will avoid one another in the early stages. Thank you for watching. So to continue with that, we should know first the definition of sports officiating single elimination method. So single elimination is a type of elimination that determines the winner by eliminating the loser in every match until there is one team left. So single elimination is also known as the knockout and we can use the single elimination when the number of entries is large, when the time is short, and when the number of playing venue is limited. Alright, so these are the following that we need to consider. First is to know the formula. And in computing the number of games, we are going to use the formula of G is equals to N minus 1. And G, it stands for the number of games. And N is the number of entries. And 1 is the given. Let's say, for example, there are 8 participating teams. So the question is, how many games are there? So using the formula as g is equals to 8 minus 1 is equals to 7 games. So all you have to do is to subtract the number of entries to the given number. Alright, so next step is to get the number of pi or bytes. So we are going to use the formula of pi is equals to p or power of 2 minus n. But before we start, what is buy? Buy is entitles a team to go to the next round without playing. And P is the list power of 2 higher than N. And N is the number of entries. Now, we will use the first example. So buy is equals to blank minus 8 or the number of teams. So the question is, which number of the power of 2 is exactly the same or near to the number of games? Anyone from the class? Yes, Naro. What do you think the answer? Your answer is 8. So you got a correct answer. So 8 minus 8 is equals to 0. So therefore, there is no buy or buys in 8 teams. So now, let's proceed to the bracket teams. So we will use the same example, that is 8 teams. So let's have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So for the first game, we have 1 and 2. That is game 1, winner 1. So for the game 2, we have 3 and 4, 
that is game 2, winner 2. For game 3, we have 5 and 6, that is game 3, winner 3. And for game 4, we have 7 and 8, that is winner 4. To continue the process of bracket teams, winner 1 and winner 2, that is game 5, winner 5. And winner 3 and winner 4, that is game 6, winner 6, and game 5, and game 6, that is winner 7. So let's move on to the last procedure for single elimination method, that is stay scheduling. So for the game 1, we have 1 versus 2. For game 2, we have 3 versus 4. For game 3, we have 5 versus 6. And for game 4, we have 7 versus 8. For game 5, we have winner 1 and winner 2. For game 6, we have winner 3 versus winner 4. For game 7, we have winner 5 versus winner 6. And then the champion is declared after the game 7. And now, you have learned more and understand the process of single elimination. So I think everyone is ready to proceed to our next activity. So you will get a one whole sheet of paper and answer the following questions that I will post on the board. So the first question is, What's the importance of having a single match? The second question is, what should be your mindset knowing that you can only rely on yourself? Okay, but before you pass the activity, I need two volunteers to answer the two questions. So anyone from the class? Yes, Alparo. What's the importance of having a single match so for me the importance of having a single match is that it enables to every member or the every group um, to showcase their skills and capability and it also important to know easily the winners and the losers of the games thank you Alparo. so next question who wants to answer yes jenny Lee. What should be your mindset knowing that you can only rely on yourself? For me, sir, my mindset would be is to be myself because I know my capability than the others and I will do my best to showcase what I can do and how can I give my best. Thank you, Janeline. And you may now pass your papers. But before we proceed to our next activities, class, are you still awake? So if you hear me saying class, you will say yes. So let's try. Class. Class, class, class. Six times, six class. Ten times, ten class. All right. So this activity called is missing words. So the students will identify the missing words to complete the paragraph so you are going to do is to complete the sentence or the paragraph that I will paste on the board so let's start so single elimination is a type of blank who wants to answer anyone from the class yes Myra your answer is tournament or tournament so single elimination is a type of tour the meds so that means the blank anyone yes paulo yes that is winner correct thank you paulo so single elimination is a type of tournament that means the winners next is by eliminating the blank in every match until there is one team so anyone from the class who wants to answer, what do you think in the answer? Yes, Janina. Yes, correct, that is losers. In computing the number of games, we are going to use the blank. So what is the formula that you are going to use? 
Yes, Prince. Yes, that is G is equals to N minus 1. You got a correct answer. Next, in computing the number of guy buys, we are going to use what? Yes, you raise your hand, Aldrin. Yes, correct, that is pi is equals to phi or a power of 2 minus n. So, you got a correct answer. So, I think everyone is ready. So, let's proceed to the next activity. So, I will group you into three groups. Each group has to compute the assigned number which is about the single elimination. So, after that, um, each group um, will present their answer in the front. So, group 1, um, you have 10 teams. For group 2, you have um, 14 teams. And for group 3, you have 16 teams. Okay, time's up. Group 1 first. Group 1, you may now present your answer. Thank you, Group 1. Next group. Group 2. Thank you, Group 2. And last... Yes, correct. Thank you, group 3. So, please give them a bird clap. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, tweet, 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 tweet. So, I think everyone knows the process of single elimination. So, let's proceed to our, um, a short quiz about that. proceed for the question number one so what do you think the answer is it a true or false so the correct answer is yes that is the rule so let's move on for the question number two so what do you think the answer is it true or false yes that is true so for the question number three, yes, correct, Janina, that is true. For the question number four, what do you think the answer? Is it true or false? Yes, that is true. So for the last question, what do you think the answer? Is it true or false? Yes, that is false. Okay, alright. I hope that you enjoy our short quiz about our topic for today. So, I will be giving you an assignment or the task that you are going to fast tomorrow. So, these are the following questions that you are going to answer. I know that you have learned a lot about the single elimination, the bracket, and the scheduling of it. So, do you have any questions, clarifications, or any concerns? If none, goodbye class. 
Thank you for your listening.